This week I'm going to look at some magical photography tricks. So today, if you'd like to try all of the photos, you're going to need some props. So as it's magic, you're going to need a deck of cards, then some thread, grab some coins, tape or blue tack. Right, for my first trick, I wanted to make it look like that I've just thrown the cards right at the camera. So I took out a single card, put a pole right in front of the camera, stuck the card down, then I took a step back from it and threw some cards at the camera. So the idea for this is the card at the front will always stay in focus, but the ones being thrown will have a bit of blur, a bit of movement going through the photo. But if you're not familiar with the shutter speed, you might want to check out my other video where I explain how this works, and I'll leave that in the description. Now you can show off your throwing skills. Let's see if you can do some levitating. So now you need some thread and hang it from the ceiling. Then stick the card to the thread just in front of the camera. Put your hand under the card so it looks like it's floating. There's an obvious problem here, and that is the string is still in the picture. So now we need to put that into Photoshop and get rid of it. So when I was taking these photos, I made sure that the room was quite dark. This was so my background would be one solid color. The reason for this is it makes this part of the job really easy. So all you gotta do, go into the color, get your color picker, and just click right next to the string so you get the right shade, get the paintbrush, and just go over the string. And it is as simple as that. Make sure you get the whole thing, right up to the card and there's your finished picture. Now sticking with that same setup we can do something a little bit more interesting. Grab your deck of cards and just throw them in the air. Then you can do exactly the same process, open it in Photoshop and just colour in the thread. And for my final trick I'm actually just going to expand on the last trick, but we're going to take it a step further. Now this picture takes a little bit longer to set up. We're going to need to get rid of the cards and bring in the coins. Now imagine you're in the middle of the photo and you're going to need coins at the left and right hand side of you. So start sticking the thread to the ceiling and then sticking the coins to the end of the thread. Once you've stuck up enough coins for your picture, stand in the middle, have your hands out, like you've just made all the coins float. Now we've got the photo, again we're gonna to have to open this up in Photoshop, but what we did last time won't work this time because the background isn't a single solid colour. There's actually different shades of white, grey and black there. So instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab the healing brush and we're just gonna start going over the string. And like magic, it will just disappear. Now the healing tool works by analyzing what's around it and then blends the color and luminosity around the area. So when you get to the edge of the coin, it might struggle, but that's okay. Just zoom in, get your color picker, pick the background right next to the thread, then get your coloring brush and just tidy up the edge. Now you just got to repeat that through the whole picture. And abracadabra, there's our final picture. So that was my magical photography. I hope you enjoyed these illusions. If you do give these a try, please tag me so I can see what magical things you've been up to. And then I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. If you could hit that like button, that would be great. Then hit the subscribe button so you never miss anything. And if you've got any suggestions for future videos, write them in the comments.